Hey everybody, welcome to The Professor. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about cameras. So not too long ago, me and my film partner bought the new GoPro Hero 7 Black that just came out. And before you know it, a couple months later, they announced that the new GoPro Hero 7 8 is going to be launching soon. So we looked up the difference and then we compared the two and there was barely anything different. But my point is, just like the iPhone and any other technology, there will always be the next new tech that's coming out that you have to have. But do you really need it? Whatever you want to do, whether if it's filming, photography, or YouTube videos, do you really need to upgrade your camera? Ask yourself, what is it about the new A7S III that you actually need? What features does it have on it that your current camera does not have? What are you currently using your camera for? If it's for pictures, I definitely recommend getting new lens, not a new body. If it's for videos, what type of videos are you making? Commercial videos, vlogs, short films? If your camera is good enough to shoot in 1080p, P, then you're golden for all that stuff. Please reconsider if it's the actual camera that you need to upgrade or if it's just your other film equipment like your light setup or a better lens or maybe it's your skill set and knowledge about how to use the camera. So I have a lot of friends that want to get into photography and videography and they ask me hey Andy what type of camera do you recommend? And when I suggested them a cheap beginner camera they say hey, I was looking for more of the a7R or a7S3 and I'm just like okay. For a couple things if you're a beginner it's cool if you want to dive right in and get the best camera on the market but you're not going to be using it at its full potential so you're going to be wasting your money on all that stuff. It's best to learn the basics on a simpler camera so you can master aperture, ISO, and all that other stuff. And you can advance your way up. If you give me a cheap Canon T3 or something like that and you give my friend that's new at photography a A7 II and we both go out and shoot, chances are my pictures are gonna come out better than his because I know how to use a camera. So don't blame the tools. My first camera I learned how to shoot with is the Nikon D5000. And you can pick one up for like less than 100 bucks nowadays. Here are some pictures I took with them. It's a cheap Nikon that was given to me and it has 12 megapixels and only did continuous shooting at four frames per second. So these pictures aren't bad, honestly, for a beginner using a beginner junk boy camera. It's the user, not the camera. After after a couple years of shooting, I got more serious and sold it to get the A7 II, then sold that and got the A6300. I got comfortable with the A6300 and now it's my go-to camera. You're probably asking me, why did I downgrade from a Sony A7 II to an A6300? Well, not really, because the A7 II couldn't even shoot in 4K and 1080p at 120 frames per second. So when you have a camera that can do all the basic things that you need it to do, you stick with that camera until you actually need to upgrade. And honestly, most people upload to YouTube and it compresses the file anyways. And most monitors can't even play 4K, so you don't need that new camera camera that could shoot in 8K. I learned this through experience because when I first started, I bought all this fancy film equipment but ended up never using it. I had gimbals and sliders but no work. Anybody can buy fancy cameras and expensive gear but what makes you stand out and excel is the work that you put out. Literally just go out and film or go shoot. I know plenty of photographers out there that have way better cameras than I do but have less experience and their work shows. So sharpen your skills and don't blame the tools. So if you like this video, please Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future videos and thanks for watching.